This video is going to show you how to be successful on a multiple choice problem in the park sample assessments. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is the highlighted vocabulary. I'm going to highlight it and then notice again that the highlighter is going to pop up. I'm going to choose pink and I know there are two statements here that are going to be true. So The question is which two statements can be represented by the expression 4 times 8. So I know that there's two out of these five that are going to be correct. Well, I know the correct answers are going to be A and D. Okay? Eight chairs at each of four tables, that would be eight times four, the same as four times eight. Four rows of flowers, eight flowers in each row, four times eight, which is the same as four times eight. I want to show you here, though, that just in case you couldn't come up with all the correct answers immediately, I want to show you a tool up here called the Answer Eliminator. And as you would work through this problem, trying to figure out whether or not A, B, C, D, or E are correct, or one of those two statements, I want you to notice what happens when you can eliminate an answer. So if I click on the answer eliminator, I want you to notice that it will turn gray. So there we are, we're gray right now. And watch what happens now when I hover over an answer. I'm going to have a light pink X that comes through. As I click, and I can eliminate answers because this one is four red markers and eight black markers which would be four plus eight not four times eight I'm going to click it and it's eliminated Marie shares eight marbles equally among four friends that's a division problem eliminated eight ducks in a pond four more ducks join them that is again addition so notice here that when I have a multiple choice problem I've really done three things first I highlighted what I felt was important I love to highlight the bold words. You might want to highlight something else as well. You might have felt that 4 times 8 was also important to highlight. I then went through and I used the answer eliminator to eliminate the answers that I felt were not correct. Then I selected the two problems that I felt that matched what I was told. Okay, And that is how I feel it is appropriate to answer a multiple choice question on the park sample assessments.